Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. I am Juanita Beauty, yours truly. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. If you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notify bell to be notified every time I post a video. So in today's video, I'll be unboxing three wigs that I purchased from Love Me Hair Company. I will be showing you one install of those three wigs. So if you're interested, keep on watching. So this is how the hair comes packaged in a mesh drawstring bag, which is super cute. My favorite color is purple, so they definitely got me with this. Inside the box, there are some gifts. They sent us one wig cap, which I thought was pretty interesting because I ordered three wigs. I thought I would get, you know, three wig caps, but I guess that's not how it works. Anyway, they also sent us two pairs of the same kind of lashes. two attachable bands for the wig caps inside this purple bag there are um, a couple more items there was a satin headscarf with their logo on it really cute really soft good for laying the hair down or even sleeping in they also sent us a rat tail comb some bobby pins a tweezer a love me hair clip and at the bottom of the box, there was a wig pamphlet with some how-to instructions and contact information on it. So the first wig that I have is the 360 lace wig. It measures at about 22 inches long and it's supposed to come pre-plucked but i'll probably be doing some additional plucking myself but as you can see it comes in this kind of mesh hair net and you want to take it out straight away i noticed that the hair is really soft and the waves are super defined there's a nice luster to it but it's not overly shiny on the inside you can see that it is a full frontal wig and it also has four combs and two hooks for the bands attached Taking a closer look, you can see that the lace um, did not come with the knots pre-bleached. So if you care about that, you'll most likely have to do that yourself. The next wig is the fabulous Beyond Celebrity Style Ombre Glueless Wig. Wow, that is a mouthful. It measures at 14 inches long. I actually wanted the wig to be a little bit longer, but this is all they had in stock. And I'm actually really glad I got the shorter length because it's super cute. And I also love the color. So this wig is a closure. Inside there are four combs and two hooks for the attachable bands. Um, the wig is super cute and I'm really excited to try it on. And I'll also be probably doing a separate video to show you kind of how I install and style this wig. So the last wig that I purchased is the Undetectable Invisible Full Lace Wig in 22 inches. The style is a body wave and this will probably end up being my birthday wig. I'm not really sure about that as of yet, um, but this is definitely the softest wig out of the three. The knots come pre-bleached and pre-plucked, which cuts down on a lot of work. As well as on the inside, there are four combs. The only difference between this wig and the other two is that it does not come with any band attachments. I'm installing wig number one on my sister. This is actually my first time installing a wig on another person, so bear with me. I think I did pretty well, but first you want to go ahead and put on that wig cap. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut holes where the ears should be. And I'm just using a razor to do that, but you can also use scissors. And now I'm just gonna spray some got to be free spray around the perimeter of the forehead to hold the cap in place. And then you wanna kinda just fan it until it's completely dry. Once it's dry, you want to take a razor and then begin cutting off the excess wig cap at the front.
To help the cap blend a little bit better, I'm taking a little bit of my Fenty bronzer and I'm just going to place that over top of the cap with a makeup brush, pressing it in and kind of building up so that it's not so light underneath the wig. Now I'm going to place the wig on the head before I cut the lace. You want to make sure that you line the wig up exactly how you want it to fall and do your adjusting before you cut the lace off. It's also important to kind of move all of the hair out of the way so that you can see exactly what you're doing before you secure the frontal. To make gluing the wig down a little bit easier, I'm going to be cutting slits in the very front of the lace right in front of the hairline. Next you want to add your adhesive. I'm using the Got To Be Styling Glue and I'm just going to place it underneath the lace right at the perimeter and use a fan to get it nice and dry. After the adhesive has dried, you can begin removing the lace. Make sure not to cut the lace in a straight line. Try to follow the natural dips of the hairline. This will make the lace appear more natural. As I'm moving along, I'm also pressing down with a comb to make sure that the lace is nice and secure. Next, I'm going to be framing the face and I'm going to be creating the baby hairs. Now, this can go left or right. Um, you wanna make sure that you're not taking out too much hair at one time. And as you cut, try to cut off maybe an inch or more. You can always cut off more if you need to, but you can't add any more if you cut off too much. So just try to take your time with this step and kind of razor it so that it looks really natural. Taking an edge brush and some more got to be gel, I'm brushing the hairs into place using one hand to brush the hair down and then the other to anchor the baby hair so it creates this nice little swoop effect. Once I'm done framing the face, I can go ahead and move on with styling the hair. Um, she wants a side part, so I'm gonna go ahead and part her hair. And to make the part more pronounced, I'm gonna be adding just a little of my Born This Way concealer to the part with an angled brush. And that's it beauties. Here is the finished product. I am so proud of myself. Like I said before, this is my very first time installing a wig on someone else and I think she's pretty happy with the results. Comment below which wig you like the most and if you've ever tried the Love Me hair brand before, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe as always. Peace and love and I'll see you in my next video.